Alright, it's the day before the train show vlog and shenanigans. Well, more like the day before the shenanigans part because the train show is until Sunday, but shenanigans are tomorrow. Anyway, I am getting packed up. Uh, I just got this Dremel, which is pretty cool. And the, I'm just packing up the stuff I'm going to bring to Jax. Um, oh yeah, I gotta grab the remote. Let me go grab that real quick. If I forgot this, I wouldn't be able to film with my phone. I'd have to, I'd, I'd have to use my phone to control the train. So that's good that I remembered that. But yeah, with the Dremel, I've gotten a lot of progress. And I only did the shell. I haven't done the parts of the cylinders that need it yet. But yeah, it's looking a lot like eight now. Even got the little detail where the things cut out around the, cil the steam pipe. I need to finish painting the wheels. I need to get rid of these parts of the cylinders. Do all the modifications on this side also. Um, reapply everything, redo the hand rails. Um, do lining and all that. The tender has been painted though and it looks pretty nice. It's like a freaking Broadway Limited engine. It's a little bit excessive. <laughs> Why? Madman! No! No! You madman! No! No! It's just so goofy! the first engine you got, I already got the second one. Um, back from the show, I didn't record that much. Uh, I got the Spectrum 06, so I'll do more video on that later. This boy, gears were broken and all that. He fixed it, yeah, yeah, yeah. and now it runs. It's got directional lighting, all that jazz, opening doors, windshield wipers. Oh my goodness, it's insane. Oh yeah, and I also got this boy. So this is like two days after the show. I just haven't had the time to make the update yet. Um... If you think this means I bought O-Gage stuff there, you're wrong. Um, I just got these telephones from 
Jack, he gave them to me, which was really nice. Um, most of them are marks, which is pretty cool. Um, the stuff that I got at the show, I got a Spectrum um, 060 saddle tank for $60 in box. It's really nice. Um, it's all perfect except for one little thing that my ADHD will never let me unsee. Um, the crosshead guide is slightly tilted and to me it is extremely noticeable and I ugh, it just annoys me super much and there's no way to fix it but I hope I just forget about it someday um, then I got a Proto 2000 um, nickel plate road GP7 uh, this thing uh road number isn't correct they never had the jeeps in these numbers but it is still extremely cool it's got tons of detail even the um if i could get this right the doors open and there's crew figures inside and there's these windshields the sun visors that you can move and uh there's even fans in there um only problem is the gear axles were split and the wheels were really dirty so when it runs, if you, when you see it in a bit, it goes dud, 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 dud. So, um, they use the same gear wheel things as an Athen Blue Box engine, and I have an extra Athen Blue Box engine, the Conrail engine that I don't like to run anymore. And so eventually I'll go replace them with those. But, um, yeah. Don't know if I mentioned it, but that was 35. Then I got this New York Central, um, Blue Box Heavyweight. For eight dollars it had horn hooks but I've since replaced them it's pretty nice I might have to add doors because when you look in you can just see through it and I don't like that that much but it's pretty nice it's nice to have another passenger car and so uh, this will be some footage of all the stuff running